I put this small leaf of straw down after clearing it all out yesterday. And uh, yeah, this cloud just was shoved everyone out of the way. PK was helping and she left. Starla was helping and she left. <laughs> it's cloud's well, like, this is my moment. Did you get did you get through it all? She's like, wait a minute. Did I did I miss anything? Maybe. <laughs> oh, now I gotta get a drink. I opened the small coop earlier and you would thought I you know it was like heaven or something. You can go in, Angel. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to find, but they sure... Oh! What the heck? I had no idea she was in here. Were you upstairs? Are you looking around upstairs? Hey! How are you? I'm going to close this. You're knocking all the stuff out on the ground. I still have more than half a bale of straw, but now I'm actually resorting to using the straw that's in the container on the back side because like a dum-dum, I left it open the other day and it snowed into the bucket. So all the straw was wet. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, I took as much of the snow out as I could, put the lid back on, and uh, we'll use that straw. I'll go check it out. <laughs> pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Let's see, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five in there right now. And three out here. So everybody's here except looks like Miss Cloud. Oh, I hear Miss Cloud. Oh, there you are. Hi. She doesn't like the cold. She doesn't like winter. Are you complaining about the the wet ground? Or do you still need to lay an egg? They pretty much stay in this corral of snow. They'll wander over to the little coop, but they haven't quite seen that there's a path right here. Angel, you're so smart. I'll drop some down for you. Back to the grass. Here is the, uh, what I expect to be the final path that I make for them. <laughs> it's been kind of fun just digging out these paths and these little play areas for them. Uh, but this is gonna all be gone in the next couple days. And uh, these paths will be forgotten and they'll have the entire yard to go through. But it's been fun for me to watch them go up and down these paths. Oh, Sweepy. Oh. Hey, Sweepy. She's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> you must be talking to me. Hello, Sweepy and Starla. Starla, what's all over your comb? Mud? Probably mud. They sure are happy. We have all the space. They get along for the most part. It's dry, out of the wind, lots of food, lots of water. Mostly harmonious. <laughs> you see that's Phoenix right there doing some preening. Next to her is Cleo. 
and you're sweepy and popcorn and oh, I was just gonna say how good she's doing and then she attacked Leo. <laughs> Phoenix. You totally <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's what she's telling me. But for the most part. Shortlist, Phoenix. Shortlist. <laughs> oh, am I am I getting into the eggs? Does that bother you? <laughs> this is where Starla lays her eggs. You don't say, Starla. Do you need to lay an egg? That's kind of your. It's kind of your song for I need to lay an egg. Huh? I kind of got the. That seemed box crooked, didn't I? Oh, there, she's like, this thing's crooked. Yep, we're all gonna pretend we're one big happy flock, huh? <laughs> You're mostly a happy flock. At least they're, they are a flock. And they all pretty much know it. Except at night, when Phoenix tries to make all of the young ones sleep outside. Look at these two. I put this board that goes from the uh, to this from the side of the pen over to this bench that they love, and yeah, that's that's where they're at. Because of course, <laughs> so I was thinking, what would make a good perch, uh, like a, a standalone perch? And I thought if I could find a like a, a coffee table. Well, not a coffee table. No, sorry. Uh, a side table. So nothing large. Maybe if I would see that bench right there, if that were a square table, and then the table just didn't have its top, it just had its edges. That would be that'd be good because then several several of them could be perching at once. I say that would be good, but who knows? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad someone's using that. I'll leave it there. I just took this chair that was out in my parkour park for them and brought it in here because this is pretty much what I was thinking. It would be nice to have something like this that they can go in they can go through, they can get up on, and they won't want to do a dust bath, nor will they probably want to stay under it very long. I did need to dig the, the land up a bit because it was all hard and uneven. So I dug that up and then I tossed straw over there. Figuring it out, yeah. I'm always changing things and it's because things change their mood changes my mood changes and I've I've come to realize that it's okay for me to change it up because my chickens and I think other chickens they actually like change you know they, they want something different to do otherwise they're just bored yeah. I used to hang this up last summer before I got the new younger chickens and I've decided to go ahead and add it again just for the heck of it and see you know if they use it. So far the younger ones, especially popcorn, is very suspicious of it. She says, what is that thing? But Phoenix here apparently remembers and so far she's the only one who's really noticed it. And PK is using the newest perch that I put in. So I'm glad I put it there and I think it'll work. I mean, someone still could, could get pooped on, like Sweepy, here, because they like to kind of hang out together. So sometimes, you know, someone will be perching and then someone will be like 
walking or standing or lying down underneath them. So, it seems kind of like a dumb move, but you know, what do I know? <laughs> I know everything, Trinity. Dude. See, I put too much food in that bowl. I should have only put enough to barely cover the bottom. Yeah, now eat that food off the brick. Starla, don't be a waster. Oh, well, look at that. On the jungle gym? Let me back up so I can get a good shot. Look at that. All right now. Cleo, let popcorn be there. She kind of pecked at her. She's kind of cleaning Angel's beak. Let's be a happy family. Okay, now Starla is going to get up there. She's probably going to tell Popcorn to get down, or Popcorn will just do it. Can we be a happy family? Well, oh, she's going to try and sit on that spot. Well, that's <laughs> it's a little awkward. Her feathers, her tail's kind of poking out. This is good. I'm glad to see this. There we go. I went ahead and raised this up about two inches. She is pretty much the shortest chicken. This is Miss Cloud. She could easily get at it. I've seen some people put theirs like high enough that the chicken has to jump for it. So. I could lift it higher and really give him something to do. Look at you, Starla. Making me happy using the new perch system. Look where I just found Sweepy. Luckily, everybody's butt is facing the other direction. <laughs> it makes sense. They like to look out. You know, I don't know that they would sit here with their back to the outside. They might. Yeah, her butt's right at your face. Isn't that nice? Sweeties, taking a nap.